Guys, we are officially back in the building, yeah, yeah, ready to have a dandy good time. We got a, a guest that's usually always here, Ronnie G. Stanley, and another guest. A guest? guest I'm a host. host. What the hell? Guest this is called Guru Punch. Guru Punch. When the guy doesn't show up on time, Get he becomes straight. a guest. Okay? When you run the show, so the show doesn't start until you show up. We started many times without you. That's that you can know. continue. It was punch. And there was no guru punch. And it can continue. The punch started. Tavon, was he late? <laughs> I beat you. Here, exactly. Like always. Tavon Young, <laughs> introduce yourself. Come on, talk to us. You just introduced me, bro. Yeah, you did. You well, tell us something about Let you. Let my boy introduce tell himself, Tell us something bro. about you. Tell us something about you. Tell us something about you. Who we are don't you? know what it is, man. We don't know what it is. Tavon. Temple's finest. Temple's finest, definitely. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Where you from? Maryland, PG. My PG? And you play for who? The Baltimore Ravens. So you're a homegrown type of guy. Yeah. Man, let's just dive into that first. We were going to start a different way. But we're going to dive into that a little bit. Actually, yes. Tell us how it is being from not far from the city of Baltimore. Then getting drafted by Baltimore. It's great. This man's Marlins phone ringing in the middle of my show. Vibrated. Nah, bro. Bro, come on, tell us, tell us. <laughs> nah, it's cool though. You know what I'm saying. A lot of things that I don't like to do it is them ticket requests. Mm. Mm. Imagine that. Facts. A lot of no's. Mm -hmm. Lots of no's. But sometimes you gotta, you gotta. But I get my people in there. You gotta get your people. So it's the same time as a lot of yeses. Mm. For sure. No people's cool. What about like? Fifth grade teacher ever hit your line like, no. hey, you were such a good no student, Tavon. No good. No I good. teach you to the best. No good. No good. You know, fun fact about me and Tavon is uh -oh. me and him are the only two remaining players from our draft class that's a fact. On, a, on the Baltimore Ravens. So would you say that's a testament, not trying to be disrespectful, you said that's a testament to not a great Actually, that might get us in trouble. Uh, so no, we'll no, no, no. I just say, I think, I think, I think, I think it's a, a testament. Draft class it was a great sure. draft class for sure. So I think it's a everybody testament. Everybody was in there for sure. Yeah, I think it's a testament to how competitive and like how crazy the league is. Like it's, you can come in with a whole bunch of guys, and now I, w I was looking around the team, you know, crazy. locker room. I was like, wow, me and Tavon are the only two <laughs> left out of our whole class. You know, yeah, different journeys. You're not going to be with like the same people forever. It yeah. doesn't really set in until like your year like four or five. Yeah, it be, it's crazy looking at mine. Like, I think we got three left, but it's crazy. Like, I mean, we had a Who guy that didn't yeah. even, like, he just got hurt. Who in your class? Nico, Chuck, okay. Tim Williams, Tyus Bowser, both Chuck and Ty, both second, Probo second Bo, contract. Promo vote, Tyus Bowser. For sure. Um, uh, Chris Warmly, now a Steeler. Mm. Um, that's really all I can really think of right now. We have somebody else, but I can't even remember. <laughs> but um, we're going to start off with a little tragic news here. Virgil Abloh, I don't even know if that's how you say it. That is how you say it. Passed away recently at the age of 42, maybe 41. Somewhere around there. Legendary. Legendary guy. If you don't know who Virgil is, he's the founder of Off What. Yes. And then he went on to become the head of designer of Louis Vuitton. He was a head designer? Yes, sir. First black one in That's kind of fire. I think ever. I think I didn't know he was a head in, designer. In like, in like, it was a while. I think ever like a, of one of those like tier one fashion design companies. He's the first top head designer. That was black. I, I did not know that. He was my favorite designer wearing off white today in honor of my See, boy. I don't really know who designs the stuff I've been wearing. I well, you should know if you like the stuff, then you should probably know the designer a little bit. Nah, because maybe you'll like some other stuff Kill he designs. Sure. Everything some he of touched he was. Bumped, I just love how he made the simple stuff look Sweet. look cool. Was everything? Now, oh my! I checked on the app the other day. Yesterday, my he just uh, named stuff with the name that. 
they were called and Tim put Bands the name are, of the on it. But the wand's been expensive. Ten bands for the off white ones, the red and white ones. The wands lucky. Man, them just be price went up crazy ever since yesterday. Them shoelaces be tearing off. The off the off white on them. But it's tragic. Yeah, that's that's another story. He's been but, hiding from it. I mean, hiding from uh Hiding it from us, like the cancer. How do you? I I was talking to somebody in the locker room. I think I mean clearly don't want that to happen. But if it did, I I think I would like that to not tell everyone. Yeah, I, I respect it. I highly respect that. I I don't really like you know pity. You know, yeah, I feel or, like that or, a lot of that comes with that. So I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry for you. You know, yeah, because that's the second. Uh, there was black, black. Panther. Yeah, Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman. That's crazy. Chadwick, that one was, I mean, this one was surprising too, but Chadwick was was, was crazy. I just did not, I did not see that coming. But No. RIP to a legend, though. Speaking of fashion, who's got, I mean, let's not be biased here. More fashion, NBA or NFL? NFL. Blam. <laughs> Nah, NBA play they be wearing some of you know I yeah. gotta I gotta say a NBA lot of them be wearing on some crazy Yeah, I think stuff, I think man. NBA started off like the best, but recently they've kinda like went off like the deeper end when it comes to fashion where it's like I, I gotta say NBA, bro. You wanna know why though? Why? So think about the NBA schedule. What you got? How many games are eighty two? Yeah, something like that. So you gotta have 82 fits. At least <laughs> At minimum Even if you ain't trying to dress You gotta have At minimum About 40 fits <laughs> For the whole year You can't mm-hmm. You So they low-key Have to get someone to Like that They gotta sense. get someone To low-key help them That makes And sense. their bodies is They're not normal size You can't walk into a store And get a Small waist And your legs Are stupid long Cause you're 6'8 Matter of fact You probably struggle With this For sure Hundred percent. I'm not normal size by yeah, any you're not means. Definitely, like, how do you, how do you jean shop? How do you jean shop? Bro, everything has to be like. A lot of times, like you said, you have to find someone that can make the stuff for you, or some brands, very few, make stuff. In you your be size. going to big and tall. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm past that. Past that. <laughs> not gonna lie, I used to be in that joint though. I ain't buy nothing though, but I had to go yeah, and look. Dude, I had to look at least. Imagine see. Shaq, man. <laughs> Back in the day. That's no. Nah. Y'all remember the All Star game back in the day? We had that big, big old suit, big, big cell phone shoe. Cell phone shoe. Yeah, it was like a cell phone. It was a cell phone or a shoe. It was a cell phone. <laughs> but it was a shaped like a shoe. I could have sworn it was a cell. Oh no, he put it to his ear like a phone. <laughs> oh, it was just a. Sh- it was just sh- wait. So it was a shoe or a cell phone? I think it was a cell phone, bro. <laughs> Real talk, bro. I think it was a cell phone. It might have just been a shoe. Maybe there was a, sh- a cell phone in the, sh- in the shoe. I ain't gonna, that sound like something they would do back in the day. Back in the day, though, it was, you'd have that phone in the I car. Tripping though. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Who had that? Shaq? Yeah. All-star game. Kevin, we need a fact check here. It is true. So it was a, uh, oh, it was was a cell phone in the exactly, shoe. Exactly, bro. Come he was walking around with a cell phone in his shoe. Yeah, so <laughs> like, he, there was like a cell phone at the, in the sole of the shoe. So mm. when you took off the shoe and you flip it upside down, there's like a, a dial pad inside the sole. Wow. Oh, man, that's that kind of live, is. though. That's kind of live. I kind of like, except I don't want to take my shoe off, but to make a call, you... All-Star game? It was for the All-Star game, you uh, know? Oh, yeah. Fashion, 2005 fashion. All-Star game. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I I don't want... I did not watch NBA growing up. Appreciate that fact check. So, I was a hooper growing up, so that's... What you, know. you was a... I was locked Same. in. Same. We're not going to get started on Ronnie's hoop skills. Same. Let us, you I've tell us about bro. last week. He said to me, he dropped he, 40. He thinks I'm capping, bro. So I, I don't even want to go back to that. Bro, I, but, I stay hooping, bro. Say, don't, no, no, it's not good. People know, good. bro. It's not good. The people in the 702 your, know. People around the nation know, bro. Let's talk about dreams. What you used to do. And compare yourself to a player in the NBA right now. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I was nice, though, going up. Real talk. Bro, who was you compared to? Who's your AU team, bro? I played for DC Assault. We used to smack y'all. Y'all can check we that. We used to smack DC Assault, bro. I played for there Bellway All Stars and Sky's the Limit. DC Assault is probably the best team you played on. NBA comparison. 
And we used to smack him. I developed as a player though since I grew up. <laughs> like when I was growing up, I was just like a Chris Paul. But now if I, you know what I'm saying, I'm like a, I'm more of like a Dane. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, pull up anywhere, you know. We you have range like that? You get a playmaker. Range? You have range like Dane? Oh, okay. I ain't gonna lie. I Marlon, who are you? I See, was, I, had somebody I was, uh, I'm a Pat Bev. Okay. I'm a defensive guy. You know what I mean? I, Pat oh, Bev, yeah. you come up against me, it's gonna be a lot of hacking. It's gonna be a lot of hacking. You're a Ron Artest type. It's a, okay, Ron <laughs> I <laughs> no yes. no he got <laughs> yeah you he have has, the anger he issue. has anger issues I know you are, I just take advantage of you'll get mad if you I get got. the foul call you're gonna get what mad I, what I'm not gonna get mad I'm be like ref yeah come on ref in basketball they get even though I was happy definitely fouling out oh I'm a foul out type of guy no. I am a foul out type of guy but you're gonna be frustrated you're gonna be frustrated you might give me ten you might give me fifteen you know Harden gets a lot of points at the free throw line. But he don't. That, he be doing them fake fouls though, and they stopped and him. Now doing he's that. actually getting hacked, and they're not trying to call his foul because they tired of him doing that. Even though they they do. He ain't started though. He just elevated. He took advantage of the rule. Yeah. He took advantage of the rule. Can't blame him. Kevin, tell us about uh, Brian. All right, you so know about this one. <laughs> A little bit of an update with the uh, the Gabby Petito case. Wait, Tay, do you know about Gabby Petito? A girl. A girl that went missing. Yeah. And then, like the dude went on a run. He was like in the wild or something. Living in the wild or something. Oh, was that Brian? Or yeah. Oh, Brian was in the wild like that? Well, so he was on the run. And oh. uh, was like Wait, I didn't hiding. think he, I thought. He was, he was hiding like in the wilderness. Like, yeah, he was, he was just like out. Well, like, he was spotted in the, in the forest on a lot of like hunt, deer cams. And stuff, so like he was just kind of out there. Where was he in? Get spot on deer cams. Um, That's crazy. But mm -hmm. so Brian was found uh, dead in a Florida nature reserve. Um, it was confirmed to be suicide by a self inflicted gunshot wound. So it just leads to more speculation as to what happened and everything. Um, but the family could face charges because they noticed that the gun was missing, but they never reported it due to the frenzied atmosphere around the case. So they withheld information, which they could face charges for. Who? Wait, who? Sorry, his family. Yeah, the Brian Laundry. So yeah, Brian's family. They noticed that the gun was missing, but they never told anyone that Brian was armed. So oh, he came back to the house, grabbed the gun, and killed himself at the house. Not mm. at the house, but he went running. Into so the how house. is that withholding information? Because they, they knew he took the gun. Oh, they knew he took yeah. the gun. Yeah. So. But what does that mean, though? I know. I don't think it would have changed anything. Yeah, I mean. I think they're just trying to go after someone since he's dead. But Poor yeah. lady. Poor girl. So, yeah. as far as anyone knows, no one really knows if he did it or not. Still under investigation. I mean, but I think it's pretty it's, obvious. It is kind of obvious. Who is knows? it? I, I was about to say, who knows, bro? Who well, knows? I, mean, I don't why? know. I don't know the facts of the situation. It's kind of yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I actually don't even. I don't even. I, have, I don't even really know the case. People get set up every day, bro. I have no idea, but this seems pretty obvious, cut and clear. Oh, and I don't know the facts, but let's talk about analyst Humph. Oh, <laughs> I heard things went bad this weekend. Analyst Humph is not. I don't think y'all can even see he that. He's not who he claims to be, guys. Scam artist hump um, might be a better analyst. Hump has pretty much unblemished this season, mm. um, with some some teams purposely trying to play bad just so I could be wrong. Um, man, I've really had some bold takes. Very, I, I was really pushing for Maryland to have some upsets this year. Did not happen. Shout out to my guy, Coach Locks. Anyway, who'd you have in Oklahoma? We got our top Oklahoma State receiver. game. I had Oklahoma. Mm. Yeah. Lost. What about the Michigan Ohio State game? I had Michigan. Oh, did you? No, I had Ohio State. Yeah. But uh, yeah, all right, guys. I didn't have the best week this week since he wants to name stuff. But <laughs> but the Tide win in Auburn. Oh my gosh! What about that game? You were stressed. And talk about an easy win. You were. We didn't stressing. waver, baby. 
Are you worried now going forward about into the, what? Into the playoffs, like if you guys can actually do it, <sighs> guys. After what you just seen, guys. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. And you still have to play Georgia mm-hmm. in the SEC championship. I'm a little. So, I'm a little. Uh, I don't know if you're ready. I'm a little uneasy about that one. It was my first time really watching Bama the whole game since the first game of the year, and I was a little bit. I was a little bit surprised. Let's talk about your Alma. What is Notre what Dame rank right now? I don't know. We're about to be top four. About to be? Who lost? Oklahoma. Are y'all undefeated? We only lost to Cincinnati, which is a top three. Four. They're number three. Yeah, they better than y'all. So Oklahoma <laughs> was what four? Oklahoma? No, they're five, I think. So how y'all getting in? Oh, they can't be lost? Out of they Oklahoma long. lost. But you said you're about to be in the top four. Yeah, we're about so to be in the top four. Right now, Bama, Georgia. Oh no, uh, Ohio State lost. lost oh yeah, 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 yeah. Who do y'all play in the championship? We don't. We don't have one. See, y'all be gonna, y'all be cheating. Y'all not in the ACC. That's like our uh, co-conference. Oh. So we like we'll play them every year. Yeah, we'll play SC. I mean ACC teams every year. Then we always play USC. We always play Stanford. When y'all played us. Yes, and we gave you all that L. I remember that. Oh, I thought y'all was good. Oh, game day to Temple. Y'all was good like that? We was nice. It was when Temple had a decent year. Undefeated. You versus, I didn't know Temple was nice. Undefeated versus undefeated on Halloween. Is that when y'all had Jeff Collins? No. Oh. Matt Rule. Oh. Y'all was undefeated. Under 8 and 0. When we like, y'all was 8 we were like 8 and 0, right? Yeah, we was undefeated. Eight y'all played each other. Game day at Temple in the link, sold out. Either y'all make any big plays? Every play. I definitely made. You had a pick? Nah. I had like three PBUs. I forced the pick for sure. I had like three PBUs. Four. Four maybe. So they was low-key trying you. Yeah. I mean, they had, they was going to their top receiver, man. Who that was? (laughs) Will Fuller. Oh. Well, okay. Okay, yeah. Wolf, oh, this, who's y'all's quarterback? Deshaun Kaiser. Uh, oh, so see, y'all had a little... Like 60 on him. See, so y'all had a little squad. Nah, it was... We had game. a little squad. It was good, who's y'all's quarterback? P.J. Walker. Oh, y'all, this was a good little... I, I had a, okay, okay. Bobby Anderson received... Okay, this was a good little game. Good little game. Yeah, good little game. Read it. Yep. I was going against him all game. Did you... Give up? No. Okay. All right. Just, all right, all right. Not no, a good game. Know. What you guys know about Dollar <laughs> Tree? Now is no longer called Dollar Tree. Dollar twenty five. Dollar twenty five. But this is what's crazy. They haven't changed in thirty years. So it made me think. Thirty years ago, the dollar seventy five was it seventy five cents? No, it said it was. It's been a dollar. Kevin, is that right? Yeah. So it's been a dollar for the past thirty five years. What about before um, so that? So I thought about that means the I dollar back or then. Or did it just open 35 years ago? Um, I can check. What's up, guys? Fun fact, Kevin here. Just coming on to uh, kind of clean up some mistakes that I made throughout this uh, little part. So long story short, I Googled the wrong thing. Dollar General opened up back in 1939 under a different name. Then it became Dollar General in 55. But the history of Dollar Tree is that it didn't officially become Dollar Tree until 1986. So that was when the first Dollar Tree opened up, which was 35 years ago. And it's been a dollar ever since it opened up. Um, Inflation, though, uh, the dollar was equivalent to $2.52 in 1986. And back in 1939, the dollar was worth $19.90. Um, all of this will make sense when you listen forward. So yeah, I messed up. So just trying to set the uh, the facts straight. So I'm sorry about that. I'll uh, I'll get better. But anyway, back to your regularly scheduled program. Bro, the dollar back then was clearly not what it is today. So was Dollar Tree really that cheap 35 years ago? You see what I'm saying? Inflation. Inflation. How much is inflation every year? Kevin, help me out, bro. So, um... So the first Dollar General was opened in 1939. 
Um, and was it a dollar then? Because that's trash. The 1939? Dollar? I have, I have no idea. That's like $5 now. Yeah, that's like 10 maybe. We're putting Kevin on the spot. Yeah, I, I, so with inflation, I think in 1939, a dollar would have been equivalent to $10 today. See, that's what I'm saying. I, it lo- I, it think. Ad- I don't even know how I'm saying it, but I'm saying it. I was just at Dollar Tree this offseason. I had to buy some uh, some some lighters for some fireworks <laughs> and some other. Man, I low-key went crazy. My fireworks show, annual fireworks show, Mark Your Oasis. Every year, y'all want to see it? Well, <laughs> not pull up, but I was, <laughs> if I know you, you can pull up, but Post. otherwise. Go to the YouTube up, channel. Bro. bro, pull up. Keep telling you I'm trying to pull up. Catch some fish. Sleep in the cabin. Sleep in the cabin. But be a place cabin. to sleep. Yes. Okay. Finally, it took a long time. It's a work in progress. The house might be done, but I got the two cabins. Boom, 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 boom. Building the pool. Got the pool. You notice. You got a lake. Man-made lake. Boy, I got lakes. Jet skis you know. on the lake. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. It ain't that big of a lake now. It ain't that type of party. <laughs> I was I was thinking about it, but you want to know, like the crazy thing that you don't ever think about? What? Jet skis ain't got no brakes, clearly. Yeah. But like, I was thinking like, I bro, really I could just thought about that. They really don't. But like, if I put a jet ski in my job, you'd be on the land quick, and because you you try to turn, but then you, I need like a low power jet ski <laughs> or a bigger so lake or a bigger is, lake. How many yards would you say the lake is? The biggest one. Yeah. 300 yards Let me see I feel like that's <laughs> enough to have a jet ski bro. But it like a whoo, whoo, whoo. Like hourglass figure uh. I mean if you know what you're doing You should be straight Go ahead and get you a jet ski <laughs> I'm gonna have to real I ain't gonna lie I don't really trust no so It just gone I be having too many my cousins and I just know my cousin he Alex or Nathan he definitely going to take that jet ski off into the into the land I need something though cuz I do be want to get on the water and kind of slide all gun range on there, man. We already got that Do you? We already got that Like a legit like no, area No not legit we put up like a boat that was busted <laughs> put up a whole bunch of these like wood things Bro, it's crazy. But it's like a, a area like set yeah, aside. It's, for- it's around a lake. Like we played capture the flag this past year. So uh, I grabbed the flag. I grabbed the flag, bro. Dive in the lake with the paintball gun, bro. I kid you. Hey, hey. You weren't able to shoot that jump. Hey, like this. Gun in the air. Hey, hey, throw the flag to my team. Boom. Get it. Run. Captured it. I was wet. But it was all worth it for the team. Because I put my life on the line for the team. Respect. I respect it. And that's a true story. That sounds fun. Sounds sounds incredible. Last, year, Oasis, last year we kinda got ruined by the rain, but it didn't deter us. Cause then we you know, it's like you didn't put your spirits down. It? it was Your spirits were kept uh, up. On all the on all the four wheelers and the side by sides. Well, I was driving paintball. No, 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 no. This is this was the day before. It was like a two day event type thing. <laughs> they were driving. We slept, in, we slept in tents out there. That's almost fun. Tents be mad. Um, I didn't have no cover, so I was like, it's hard to sleep with no cover. For sure. Even if you're not cold. I slept with like a little. Yeah, thing. it's weird. Ch-ch tart. Because I didn't have a cover. You know what I'm talking about? Nah. No, no, but. Material when your jacket be ch- ch- like that windbreaker Swishy, material. Windbreaker material. Oh. Swishy, bro. What is? Ch- 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 Come on. Yeah, when like you the, move the, it, ch- the squishy pants. Squishy. I don't know. I, ain't squishy. Know. Squishy, bro. I don't know about squishy. Never heard of it. Uh, squishy. squishy. Windbreaker. Swishy. Windbreaker. I it swishy. That's what I just said. I said, I said windbreaker. Ch- well, you got it on right now. No, that's not windbreaker. It's kind of like it, bro. Nah, that's. Anyway, that? I slept with that. That's and, like uh, a cotton polyester mixture. It got it got the job done, but anyway, man, y'all pull up to Marky Oasis, man. Um, cost of admission? Free? Cost of admission about like free, free five, six bands. You know what I'm saying if you can't uh, do that, give me like two. What is this like a 
A resort? It's a food? resort. All uh, inclusive. It's like a bed and breakfast. It's a bed and breakfast. Butler, all that. So all you're making breakfast. No, we're going to get it from Chick-fil-A or something. But, uh, you know what I mean? Look, man, it's, it's a work in progress. I don't know where I'm going with it. Right now, I'm just enjoying being outside. I like it. And uh, I will be there, bro. Nah, for real, I gotta get the I gotta get the fellas out there for real. The sauce, dude, man. Real, PJ real. is sold out there, bro. PJ, let's go. PJ to Bama, let's do it, bro. PJ to Bama, bro. I know you got the the PJ plug in Bama. <sighs> do not. Actually, I do. Actually, <laughs> I actually do. <laughs> that way? But hey, it's someone I, really I know do. that just flies planes, so it's not really. Good. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's my boy PJ. flies. Yeah, for sure. Um, Tay, tell us about the DMV. Let's hear about the culture. Do you know about the culture of DMV, Ronnie? I mean. I played teams from DC, but do you know the culture, bro? DC, DC, uh, Saul, bro. Oh yeah. What's the culture though? Oh, yeah. Do you know the culture? What do you mean by the culture? Yeah. What do you mean by the culture? Like, the food the culture? culture, bro. The so like, when I culture. think of Alabama, when I think of Alabama, yeah. What is the culture? We don't really have no culture. What do you mean? We don't have no culture. College football. Yeah, but that ain't culture. That is our culture. Though. That's like, part of the culture. That is, but we don't have like barbecue. Like when you go to hunting, Louisiana, hunting. you go to New Orleans, like the culture, the vibes, how they, the slang, the uh, 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 how they move. We don't really have that. I don't know. Deontay Wilder is the culture. He no, but most people don't act like him. He's y'all different. Live and breathe football, bro. We do. We love our collegiate football, Alabama and or Auburn. High school football. UAB sneaking in there. Stop playing. High school football. Well, high school football is serious too. Like when I go to UFC? when I go to a lot of games out here, I think it's probably just walking to the field before anyone even just stops me. Which that's not really flying in Alabama. You know what I mean, it's just like like this is an event. It's a yeah. It's a true of boom boom boom. Football boom, boom, boom. building out here though. Football what? It's like a basketball. We more. See, y'all be putting. See, we don't be putting out crazy yeah, amount of basketball talent. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went to some good games. This yeah, year. I went to a fire What's the game. Most popular sport in the DMV. Basketball. Basketball. For sure. For sure. But tell us about DMV. Come on. I know y'all say the two. Nah, that's Baltimore, bro. That's only Baltimore. That's Baltimore. Only. How is that only Baltimore? That's Baltimore. Bro. So none of your homies say two. I feel like you lying, bro. No, you say it sometimes, Tay. Stop oh, capping. Y'all, serious? y'all gonna make me sound wild in front of my people. Uh, I don't say no, two. No, you don't say two, you just, but that's you not said a way to I bang with Baltimore. You said up, something. I remember I heard you say something you. in the locker room. I forgot I what it was. I never in my life said two. You just said it and you sound blue. natural. Blue. Two. That's not two. Say blue. <laughs> say blue. Blue. Ah! <laughs> I heard it in there though. On, it's y'all in there. Reason, it's like, bro. Nah, y'all reason, bro. It was. It really was in there though. Blue. All right, that was different. Blue. The first time though Blue. was Baltimore. Nah. All right, tell us about the culture, bro. Other than T. <laughs> other than T. Uh, you feel me? I mean, we got our own music. Go go music. I don't know if y'all ever go heard go, that. Music. go go music. Bounce music. Yeah. It's the same thing. Go go and bounce. bounce, music. bounce music. Like Louisiana. It got the same thing. Get you, you know what I'm saying? Get you crunk. Y'all be doing a little Louisiana little. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Da, 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 da. Nah, nah, nah. So why you dance to it? Do you dance to you it? You ever heard of Beat Your Feet? People do that. Kevin, type in Beat Your Feet YouTube. And participate yeah, and like, do it. That's for like it. back in the day, like when we, we ain't really do all that. We did do it, but it's just like a, you get hype, bro. You gotta listen to it, bro. It's different. It's different. You gotta be from here though to really that's just one thing a lot of people don't get about it. The go go. How how long do I gotta play with the Raven before I can, you know, really know the go go? Cause like I low key be here. You're in Baltimore, so you ain't gonna hear it. You ain't gonna hear it at all. I thought you said it's a Baltimore. Oh, it's a it's a Maryland, DC. DC. Tell me how Virginia's not a part of no, was it North Virginia? Not a part of the DMV. Where Chuck from, how's that not a part of the DMV? Because it stands for what? DC DMV stands with DC, Maryland, and Virginia, but I don't know. I See, don't even what, know what part of Virginia we claim. I don't. I, I feel like I mean DMV. Is, I don't say DMV. The whole Virginia is the whole V. Nah, it's not though. Like Richmond, I know Richmond. I got See, like how I don't, I don't. Why is it? It don't make sense. It don't make sense. I don't even say DMV. So. You don't say DMV. No, I don't say I'm from the DMV. You say it's from PG. 
but you don't like, but people refer to it all as a DMV. Yeah, outsiders. I got a question for both of y'all. You filling out a job application? You were born. You were born in Washington D.C. They ask you where you're from, city and state. What do you put down? Uh, D.C. At the city, or, at the city or the state. Washington D.C. At the city or the state. Washington D.C. Bro, it is a city line and a state line. What do you put? Uh, city. I put nothing. And then stay, I just put Washington, D.C. District. Of so you do not fill out the city? Just say Washington, D.C. Well, what city? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either, bro. Am I from? I've been asking what many people this. What city am I from? Huh? What city? Are there You're no? from Washington, D.C. You don't say Washington, D.C., Maryland. Well, I'm asking. I'm asking. You're in DC. I'm telling you. So you put that in the state or the city? The state. So no, you don't fill out the city. Man, I don't buy. You from D? You put it whatever. If it's on there, bro. I'm just saying. I have asked many. I think. Wait. Yeah, I don't know. You put whatever city you're from. I guess. So you're from DC, District of Columbia. So you just put city. In city, because I guess when, so you you put, when you're from Washington State, you put state. I don't know. Like when you when someone says Washington State, they're like, "I'm from Washington, like the state, like Washington State." But like if you're from the city, you just put city for DC, I guess. So you only do the city, huh? So you only you don't fill out the state. Yeah, no, you put Washington DC as the state. No city. The city, I would just put city. <laughs> Bro, what? All I know is I don't know the answer to that, and I've asked people, and they don't know the answer to that. I don't. I don't. Am I gonna not get the job now because I didn't fill out the city? No. They think I'm lying. <laughs> they don't know where I'm from. I feel like there's an secrets? easy solution to this that people in DC know. All I know is this, man. I was that guy that was like, <laughs> uh, I thought we was really going to Washington when we won the national championship. No cap. And then we got there super quick. And then I realized we is not in Washington. Wow. To the left side, we to Washington. You thought, you thought you were going to go all the way across? Going to D.C.? No, he Stand thought he was going, going to Washington thought we was State. Going to Washington, the state. Then we pulled up pretty quick. I'm like. You thought it was going to be a six hour plane ride. We is not in Washington. More than that from here. From, from, from Alabama. So, no, that was going to be. To LA is like five. So that was gonna be about six. Washington up there in the corner. That's all the way in the corner. Ain't it? It'd be at least five. At least five, five, uh, five, five and a half. Definitely five, five and a half, half six. Because it's five. Five and a half for sure. Damn, bro. I can't believe you didn't tell us nothing about the DMV culture. I really wanted Say, to hear go something. Go go music, bro. I really wanted to hear something, bro. Go go music, bike life. Bike life. I had to get me a bike. Music, bike life, mumbo sauce, man. Mumbo Where sauce. Where balances? What's up with chicken? What's boxes? like the food? Maggie what's boots? like the like the? What's up with chicken? Is boxes? there like a food of choice here? Crab. I mean, it's crab. Like, you know, Ooh, crabs like, is crab. weak, bro. Nah, you tripping? Well, we grew up. I don't like working to do all that hammering. You gotta. I don't like doing all that working for food, for real, for real. You really ain't gotta work like that. I'm allergic, so I don't have to do it. But I jump me crazy, bro. I can't. Uh, I'm just happy I'm not allergic to none. Let me knock on wood. Man, yeah, man. Have you guys seen season two of Tiger King? I think we talked about this a little less. Yeah. Did you see the first season? I saw the first one. I ain't even watched the first season. So Wow. Bro, we talked about it last week. We I, talked I about it last I week. I said I watch it now. Uh, yeah, I, you got to watch it, bro. I, I wasn't going. The second first. season's it's crazy. Wilder. Oh, you already watched it? It goes more into depth, bro. Of just about the whole Case. murder cases and stuff. Like, it's nah, that joint wild for real. I ain't watch it, bro. This is definitely good information. <laughs> like, it's. I, I thought he went to jail. Good, I thought it was a good watch. He is in, he jail. Is in jail. He's doing the documentary in jail. But he's saying he's getting framed. Yeah, he is. He's is part he of it. Framed? Bro, how are they letting him do that I think in jail? So, bro. My, yeah. How are they letting him do that in jail? I thought he got locked up for trying to they play were just like, on somebody, though. Yeah, bro. 
Yeah, bro, but they're saying that that wasn't really him that did that. It's crazy, bro. You got to watch it, bro. Be out here setting people up, man. Yeah. That's why I stay out the way. It's crazy. Marlon respects those kind of people, too. They're really good at it. Scammers? Yeah. All right, since he want to bring this up, Tay, check this out. Check this out. True or false? Is there a best at, like, and everything in life, there's a top five, true or false. Like, no matter what the job, there's someone that's, like, top five, one of the best. I hear you think, but, yeah, I get where you're going with. So, you ask somebody to hang a TV for you, to mount a TV for you, okay? You ask him, what's the price? He's like, yeah, bro, I'm going to be there, 10 a.m., I had that thing done for you. Like, oh, bet. Okay. Yeah, what's the price? Like, oh, yeah, the price? Yeah. Man, I'm going to have that thing right. It's going to be bad. I'm telling you, it's going to be, you're going to be able to hang. You're going to be able to do whatever from the TV. You're like, I bet. See you at 10 a.m. He never answered you what the price was, but, you, but you're thinking he's going to do you a solid. He him out the TV. He said, that's going to be three bands. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. But, the TV, about that. but the TV already up. Talking about price, we negotiate. You end up paying the three K. You end up paying the three K. Why did you pay the three K? I'm negotiating. But you already I'm you, not paying that three K out the rip. If he ain't telling me the price when to jump and he pop out with some three bands, I'm like, oh he had it on his website though. <clears throat> that you didn't look at. So basically you ain't checked the website. <laughs> you didn't check the this is a scenario with you. <laughs> you didn't check the website. So so he didn't. So uh, yeah, you got paid. Have you got it on there? That's what I'm saying. What you saying is, dang. He look. He look. He just finessed me. He look. He just scammed he me. He respects and by that you saying, by you me. saying, by you paying that, that and not it's kind of like a because ain't nobody really checking on no way. That's like, exactly. You, know, TV you you like you sitting here like man. I just paid this man three k. This man really got me. But then in the back of your head, you saying, I respect it. I don't respect it. You respect That's it what though. I said. I don't You're not respect respecting it. no three bands. You, res- you, re- you respect the hustle he just hit on you. Man, I respect this grind for sure. Th- but That's what I. That's all I was saying. But, no, no, I respect this grind of what he doing. But three bands. What kind of TV? How big was the TV? I mean, he had it on his website. Didn't matter if it was <laughs> a twenty inch nah, or, or eighty six. He better be mounting like a big hundred. <laughs> <laughs> like some crazy what is the bro, biggest like a whole movie whole screen TV or something, bro. four TVs in one yeah bro not no one TV for three bands man one day Whatever I'm gonna get you a are, fire you TV <laughs> but it's on his website you agreed ooty woo ooty woo Speaking of scammers, did you see the Kevin Hart show? This new oh show my! Let's yeah. talk about it, bro. Did you see that? I watched it, bro. Man. That joke's kind of slick. Bro. Good. I ain't watching, bro. You want to know what's crazy though? So my sister like you gotta watch it, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that joke, that <laughs> Kevin. Wait, wait, first of all, Kevin Hart, I cannot take serious. I cannot take serious. Me, bro. Got a, it's like a serious movie. It's man. a serious movie, bro. He's not supposed but to be a, like funny, it's, it's but like I can't help but like laugh. Yeah, because of all the ro- <laughs> all his roles. It's almost like he's trying to act, fake act serious. Yeah. And, you know, weird. some of the parts. No, because you know, there's one part he gets good, violent. Bro. The one part he gets violent, bro. You, you laugh laughing. because you think that's <laughs> I how he started laughing, act. bro. The one part where he got violent, bro. Yeah, the little well, man I was syndrome. Laugh, I was laughing, bro. That would never happen. You see how small he looked? I know. Oh my god, what's going on? That was. You gotta you watch. Telling me I gotta watch that. You gotta watch yeah, it, bro. The storyline was actually kind of trippy, and it's called True Story, which is making me think: Did something like this actually happen to one of his friends? Maybe. Bro, just know this: I ain't gonna spoil none, because it's a very plausible story, bro. It's crazy, it. but I'm it could happen. It I'm gonna call the cops every time, bro. <laughs> Straight up, if I ain't did nothing wrong, I don't care how it looked. What if you did? You didn't know you did. I don't give a frick. I don't think I did nothing. What if you did though? Well, then I'm going to be going to jail, I guess. Yes, you are, yeah. But no, that, there's no... It, I didn't do nothing. That was... You did, though. That what was if, hers. But what if you think you really did? But how? It was hers. What, he was on drugs or something? Well, hey, 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 bro. Know. Hey, bro. Be cool. Be cool. We spoil stuff after we introduce it. But... Yes, she was on drugs. <laughs> but... um, Nah. So at first, though... What got me, my sister like, yo, this documentary, 
about Kevin Hart. No, not documentary, this show about Kevin Hart. And then when he was talking about he was comedian, so we like, bro, nobody wants to watch this about Kevin Hart, about him talking about his own <laughs> self. She's like, nah, it's really not about him. And I'm like, bro. And then his name was, what was his name on there? Kid. Kid. On True Story? True yeah. Story. I thought, because he was a comedian in the movie. Uh, yeah, it was literally based off of his like real life in the movie. Yeah, it literally was based on his real life. But the story that was happening was behind the scenes of fake. his real life was fake. Uh, but it's called True Story, which is making me think that junk, about it. That junk was fire, though. It was oh, good, bro. Like Malice in the man. Palace. You seen that? Of course. That's That's been up. I haven't even seen it, but I know everything about it. Like, everybody's seen that. Bro, that junk was crazy, bro. I honestly didn't Those even fans know. fans was wild. I didn't know the details of, of it. The fans were wild enough. I didn't know Ron Artest was, like, chilling like that. And then he... Just got hit. Oh, you laying on the table? Yeah, that joke was kind of funny. That joke was crazy, bro. Folks be losing their cool, though. Things like that? Come on. All right, what you would have did? Nothing. But that's just you me, just though. just been laying on the table, boom. Fuck! Got nothing. up and was just like... Yeah, I would have done nothing. But that's just me, though. I definitely would have ran in the stands. That's for sure. <laughs> would no, no, you wouldn't have ran in the stands either. What you did, bro. It depends on what position I would. If you're Ron, Ron you Artest. Tell me exactly what happened to Ron Artest. If I'm Ron Artest, bro, I got to find exactly who did this to me. But you're going to run in the stands, though? If I, if I can pinpoint exactly. If I can't tell who did it, bro. bro he I'm not got up on straight. Stand, Everybody right? basically gave dude but, away, though, kind of like. No, he punched the dude. He punched no, the he punched the wrong dude. dude. Uh, Bro, he ended up punching the wrong dude, bro. He was wrecking everybody. No, nah, he was bro, wrecking everybody. I felt everybody. so bad for the dude who got punched after you watched the whole video. The guy's like, no, it wasn't uh, me. Bob. Bob. <laughs> <Maybe it's laughs> that, bro. Ron's like, bro, Ron didn't even like, was, uh, Ron didn't show any mercy. Was it Jermaine right O'Neal? When that dude, when he came running in and he slipped and tried to punch that dude? That on when he was on the floor. One on the test. floor. No, that Ron guy. Test. That guy was out of pocket. He should not have been on the floor. He was walking up on him. Yeah, yeah no, that. <laughs> that guy was out right, of pocket. In the documentary, in the the documentary, documentary yeah. I somehow just ended up being on the bro, floor. Bro, like, bro, bro, are you squared up with him? The documentary was hilarious because he was like acting like, yeah, he just punched me, barely hit me or something. He was like, yeah, I took it like really well. He doesn't even hit that hard. He just trying to act all tough. He said I ended up on the court. I don't know how. I was like, bro, you squared up with him. Nah, bro, bro. He was like he cheats on basketball, me. I didn't even basketball see Basketball is different, though, bro. We we can't really imagine that. Like basketball, bro, no one's doing that. The fans after are right that. there, bro. No one's doing that after that again, bro. LeBron just got someone kicked off the the, the game. You seen yeah, that? Because the NBA really don't. Because you shouldn't be able to be on. Did the court. he? They said uh, they wanted son to die. He'll be dying in a car crash or something crazy. What? Bro. Yeah, that was that was pretty crazy. Was this like? Confirmed the game, yeah, that's what they said. Wow, I didn't even know. That. I don't know if it was confirmed though. I mean, they said, but someone, next someone home, sitting, yeah, someone yeah. sitting next to him said that was. So I don't think they would lie. Right, right, right. That makes sense. And I ain't gonna lie, they got up like they knew they did something. Like usually when people that happen, they be like, no, I'm not. I'm not like, it's more of a fight. They look right. just got right up. <laughs> that's good though. I don't think fans should get away with that. Yeah, I don't think you should either. When you're especially yeah. when you're that. Sometimes I be thinking other fans should like. Say something to these other fans. Like, like they think they could just because they have courtside seats that, you know, yeah, they could just act crazy. I'd be <laughs> mad to pay that much money. You said what? I'd be mad to pay that much money and get kicked out. Yeah, for sure. But that's your own fault. So, yeah, you shouldn't be talking crazy yeah. like that. But, um, you can talk crazy. smack, but then you can say to me, a son going to die. Right. That's kind of wild. Really? I was thinking about that today on, on social media. What? It's crazy that, I mean, it's, I don't know if it's crazy, but it's just, Cause it made me think about it because the Twitter CEO, Kevin, what's his name? Whoever that dude's name is. Jack. Jack is stepping down from CEO from Twitter. But it had me thinking about social media. It's crazy how you, you play bad in the game and people will really tell you to kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, I, 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 think so, it's funny, I think it's you know? weird. I think it's weird and it's almost comical to me now. It's funny to me now. Like I almost like... But some people that really does affect though. I know it does, and I, I, I hope like those like I hope there's ways for them people to. Like, I don't think it, bro. For some, I don't know how how to say it, like to not like take people like that seriously. I know it's different for everyone. Home, bro, like responding to people and stuff. 
Oh, you, nah, you used to respond to people nah, like that? Nah, I got a crazy story, but I... Bro, if I respond to someone, I'm like, trouble. man, I every time I respond to someone, I'm always like... Man, I really shouldn't. Have, I really didn't even need to do that. I mean, no, I don't care about the screenshot. Um, I'm like, I don't. I really don't even care. Like, why do I care enough to yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. explain That's myself to you note, every time? I'm like, nah. I should. I like, don't even. Why do Why do I care enough to explain my side crazy. of it? Like, it got you off guard, huh? Talking crazy, bro. You be Let me cold. see. Nah, you want to know when I was After like the Coles game? People was talking to me crazy when I had caught, got that penalty. Oh, I bet they was. What? Talking. Nah, brother, game I probably got talked to a the bunch of nonsense. Game I got talked to the crazy the most was when we played the Browns and we got beat by like thirty. When was me, this? Me and Odell got into like a little scuffle. Uh, when did we get beat by like, thirty? His fans go crazy. Oh, was that early in the year when they when ran they the ball on us? Was it forty five to twenty when they ran the ball on us? Oh, yeah, 20? bro, I think we got beat. That was like twenty nineteen, oh, right? Twenty five. 20, maybe like 20. His, fan, his fans go crazy, bro. They really ride from heavy. And, uh. He <laughs> said so they really ride for him. I mean, they ride from heavy. <laughs> like, I, 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 like, it was weird, though, because, so like. we're going to come after you, bro. Like, don't touch our boy. Like, I, I don't know. I think I realized, because I'm like, I feel like my, I don't know if I'd, like, notice I was getting a whole bunch of followers or something. I don't know what was happening. But for some reason, I had just checked the. The DMs. <laughs> like, I, I, didn't, I didn't really play bad. Like, so I like, you know what I mean? Check the, I'm like, dang, it's, I'm looking down. I'm like, I'm seeing a whole bunch of brown. What's going on? I look in there and like, touch him again. <laughs> I'm like, so it was. Oh, you was getting threats about touching him again. Uh, yeah, it was, it was. But man, I just think it's just weird. I, I don't be knowing what. People be bored. But I will say this though. Twitter is a very. It's a funny place, but Twitter a very toxic, funny very toxic game. place while the game is going on. Like, think about when you, I be watching the finals. I'll be like, I'll be live tweeting. I'll be like, bro, what is, what is he doing? What was he thinking right there? Like, it's like funny, but to like take it and then go DM the person privately is kind of weird to me. Yeah, that is to weird. To talk about it on your timeline is normal. Like, yeah. but that's the connection play, that social media has brought. It's brought a way to connect everyone to like any person they really want to talk to. As long as your DMs are open, I guess. <clears throat> but you can't close them. But they could, they could tweet at you, you know what I mean? And you yeah, probably see People are not going to be talking crazy tweeting at you, though. Yes, they would. Why wouldn't uh, they? Yes, they would. They don't be saying, you need to go kill yourself right now. No. Mention you but that, they will yes, make they a would. fake profile and say that and won't care. Yeah, I'm going to make a fake profile. Like, but that's like, the thing with oh, Twitter. Like, 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 I'm not any saying social that media. you're trash. Like, those, that's whatever. That, that's going to happen a lot. But it's just weird, bro. I think it's just really weird. But I, I mean... It's an interesting place we live in here in America, man. Yeah. Do you have a good Thanksgiving? And I, I had a no. Uh, I'm talking about what he about to talk about. What? What happened? What do you think I'm gonna say? What happened, Tay? He talking about the Mac. I invite the fellas to the house. I invite the fellas what to the happened? house. If you didn't have a place to go, and they talking about just know he ain't gonna have no mac and cheese over there. I'm like, my mama cooked mac and cheese. You know what I mean? Why I don't, don't eat it. I like it though. Bro, it's, it's like just cheese. cheese. Yeah. It has and to be done right, though. You probably was the first person I've ever met that said they don't like macaroni and cheese. Did you know? He the second. He the second. Straight up. And Kenny Moore. He <laughs> co-signed with me on Twitter with with the with all the Nah, it's all. Everybody's admitting to not liking macaroni and cheese. See, because, no, I, look, I'm not afraid to take that step out there. You know what I mean? Everybody, you know, be like, oh, you can't say, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be, folks be defending. Name another fool, folks, just defend. Exactly. But them cheese noodles, folks will try to fight you. Folks are like, I'm disrespect. How I'm disrespectful because I don't like it. You want to fight me over some mac and cheese? Yes, bro. That's a. You want to fight me over some easy mac? Some opinions just trigger people, and that's one of them. Man, bro, it's I such a weird, basic. Bro. I don't know why I find it weird. I'm just like, I ain't like mac and cheese. Nah, everybody thinks it's weird because it's yeah. like, oh, it's, cool, man. it's just, it's just overrated. It's just What's your favorite it. part about my little brother? You should just oh, you like the stuffing, dressing. We call it stuffing. It's not the same though. Same stuff. It is the same. No, it's not the same. It's breadcrumbs. Stuff. Like I don't that. know what's in there. A lot of yeah, breadcrumbs. What's in there? Like, but I've had stuffing in Maryland. Bro, y'all put sauerkraut, which I was oh Thanksgiving. I don't know about that sauerkraut. one. Sauerkraut. 
That's a Maryland thing. I don't know, you ain't never had that? I, I went to this girl house one Thanksgiving. She had me over there with her family. And they had sauerkraut. She had sauerkraut. Sitting in a bowl or something? And when, yes, like, nah, like there was a whole glizzy thing. Where they live at? She lived not far from Westminster. So that's like Baltimore. Bro, all I know is this. If you go to the grocery store during Thanksgiving, that's Baltimore. you're going to see sauerkraut at the front of the store. I cannot eat sauerkraut. I'm sorry. Bro, it, I don't even think I've ever tasted Man that. time, man time. It low-key go with the meal, though. Man time. Meal. The Thanksgiving meal. Sauerkraut. So you'll eat sauerkraut, but you won't eat mac and cheese. But sauerkraut is, it's a, what is that, vinegar? Is that vinegar in there? I don't know. I don't even know, bro. Savory. I know you put what a glizzy. Like, like, I'm a I'm an all topping type of glizzy guy. Know. I'm an all topping top, all topping. So all you want relish type of relish sauerkraut oh, jalapenos on there mustard sauerkraut, mustard. Mayonnaise. Sometimes I'll throw a little mayo on there. Oh gosh, I mean I'm a on his hot dog on a glizzy. Come on, fam. On I mean, his gliz, bro. Mayo. You want to know what's crazy? My man told me one day he eat mayonnaise. Jelly sandwiches. Oh my god. This is that Bradley bro. Bozeman. <laughs> he eats what? What what is he? Mayo sandwiches. Shut up. Just mayonnaise. But that's like your old, you ain't never known that? I feel like I've heard of him eating some type of to, weird sandwich, but I don't remember it being just mayonnaise. Because he was like, man, like he either said his dad or something. Is it just mayonnaise? There's nothing else. I'm pretty sure it's just that's mayonnaise. Nasty, that's disgusting. Bro. I cannot believe it. Because he was talking about like I've seen those videos of those guys eating mayonnaise out of buckets in college football yeah, games. Bro, no, bro, wait, they do it at college who does football. That? For what? They've been doing at college football games, bro. Who? 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 Like these fans, bro. They have a, a large family sized tub of mayonnaise and they're like chugging it like it's a beer. <clears> and <throat> people are like cheering them all, like, go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, what up. are we doing? I'm, li- I'm, li- I'm looking at this. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. That's not gross. Ew. But Bozeman was talking about something about either somebody was less fortunate, his dad, somebody who didn't have much growing up, so eating mayo sandwiches. And then somebody was like, Bozeman, I'd rather just you're eat the not bread. poor no more. You're like, you don't have to do this. I'd rather just eat the bread, my I'd boy. Just eat the bread. <laughs> Give me the bread, my I'm not boy. Neither. I'll get, make some toast. I'm going to eat some Jay. I'll take some toast. Bread. Come on, fam. But the real question is have you tried it? No. It might hit. No, the hell it won't. Never in my life Bro, you me. look. You gotta try it. You can't just say something nasty without trying it. No, yes, you can. You can't do that, though. Yes, you can. You can't live your life like that, bro. Yes, you can. You didn't know if you was gonna be good at football when you tried it, but you took a leap of faith. Yeah, well. And now look where you at, man. I've tasted mayonnaise. I've tasted bread. I know what they're gonna taste like together. There's nothing, there's nothing about the two that I don't know about. You put a little salt and pepper on there. You never know. Sure I, I do know, but I know these two ingredients I've tasted. I know. But you don't like mayonnaise? Not really, Bro, no. but mayonnaise on certain stuff like is like underrated. Until a you Philly? get that taste a of mayonnaise. Philly? What? No, I don't know. Oh, a cheese day? Yes. Oh, no, mayonnaise do. You got a, both sides of the bread. And bang, bang. Buy stuff, why? Bro, it's like an underrated taste. Why does it, why does, what does it do? What? To a Philly cheesesteak It's an underrated taste I don't know what it is To be honest But What's, no smack So it. is it better than Like adding like some butter Butter I personally don't really like Butter To the bread I mean I like butter But I don't like the taste But like It's kind of like When you do it on a Philly cheesesteak You put it right on And it just steak. You put the mayo on the steak like With the ketchup on it Oh gosh I thought it was just like on the bread it, I mean you can do it that way But like just I, do, I just put it on top of it Oh yeah, I do it like that too sometimes. But the ketchup on that bun. When I go to a real place, it usually be already on the bun. If I'm making a Philly like at the facility, I just have you been to Philly and had one, bro. We went. Remember we went. You was hurt that year. Was you hurt when we went to Philly? Yeah. Um, we went to they famous place. Gino's. I don't even remember what it was called, but they weren't smacking like that though. Do you eat your Phillies with marinara? No. Marinara. Cheese whiz. Marinara. I seen people put cheese whiz on it. You do? No. I don't cheese like cheese whiz. whiz. Provolone cheese. Talking about with the ch- can. I heard true Phillies eat it with cheese whiz. Bro, oh, I was in Philly for four years. Oh yeah, Temple. Yeah. What's the culture there? South Street though. What that is? South Street. That's where they got like little clothes stores, shoe stores. Fancy like type type of thing. Nah, not really. Shine Jewelers, the jewelry store on South Street. Well, it was. I think it moved now though. 
That's where a lot of rappers was going to get their jewelry. Man, I got a diamond ring. And I don't know where it's at. What do you mean? When I moved to this crib, bro, I don't know. I was moving very unorthodox. And I was just thinking about that today or yesterday. <clears throat> I don't know where that ring is, man. So that's an easy you couple. Ins- insurance? No. You don't no insurance. Oh, I didn't have, like, I didn't really... I don't know. I had just got insurance on, on some other stuff, some watches. But yeah, I dropped the ball there. But I think there might be somewhere. I just gotta. Actually, I don't really think they might be going on. As I'm really being honest. But we'll see. Are you gonna ask your question? That last you question of the day, Tavon. When is the last time you got into a fight? <laughs> Better question. What is your best fight story? Last time I got in a fight was in college, but... We want to hear your best fight story. We need all the details. I don't want to talk about that. Bro, come on, bro. No, bro. <laughs> bro, I've told Martin my best fight story. This question. It's my this favorite Martin. question of all time. Oh, we can talk about this off air. Because it, well, it got, don't use the, it don't got use, crazy, bro. Don't use... Okay, PG-13 it. All right, we was at a... Uh, okay, don't PG-13 too much that it take away from the story, though. Like, we keep, had a party. We had a party. What type of party? A college party Okay 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 House party, party House party House party Okay 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 Nah 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 It was like at a little venue Oh a venue yeah, So security was there No Philly nah. nah No security No security No security How much it cost to get in money Probably like five ten nine. Five ten okay okay You know what I'm saying We was in there My teammate cousin was on the floor It had like a little stage area We was on the stage part My man cousin was on the floor so he got into it with some dudes. Boom, fish fly. I just seen my mask out down. Boom. I jumped down. I ain't gonna lie, I ran into the fight. Uh, dude hit me. Woo. Bop. But that jump, I was like, oh. You blew that off. Like light. Okay. Swung. Uh. Hey. You missed. You missed. Came back. Think. I mean, it got crazy, but I don't even want him, bro. Bro, did you People drop him? People got in trouble, bro. People got in trouble behind this joke. Did you drop him, though? Yes. How many you dropped? It was just that one dude. He, oh, hey. he, yeah. He was, oh, he was down bad. So what about your man's? Well, we, he right, got we our handle clean? business, bro. That's the only way I can put it. We handle yeah. business, bro. And y'all shout out to my brothers, man. Protect your brothers, man. It was only y'all too. Nah, I was three of y'all. Nah. It was a gang of y'all. It was a. And they someone just tried to jump on y'all. Nah, we came down there to protect his cousin. Oh. And then it was kind of you feel me. Man, I got a crazy story, but... I would tell you, but I don't really want to tell a story on the air, you know what I'm saying? If you want to know, ask me off air of the whole story. Bro, the guru punch want to... The fans want to know. Nah. I don't even know if the fans like hearing this question, honestly. Yeah, you you need to find a, out. It's violent, bro. Kevin, give us... Tell us, give us some feedback. We don't even know person. feedback about the show, man. I don't know think I'm a violent Where's person, the fans' man? questions? Be like, I want some fans' yeah, questions. Yeah, next week, That's what y'all, man, y'all got some questions, man. Wait, where do you comment at if you ask something? That should do like Kevin? a live sh- uh, social media, uh, uh, Guru Punch podcast, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Guru Punch, and then also YouTube comments. Bro, I forgot we got a TikTok too. If we still doing that, I don't know. What we doing, doing no TikTok dances, fine. No, 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 no. I didn't mean like uh, that. Wait, that's wait, 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 Marlon. Wait, wait. That's Marlon's department. Oh, no, it's not. He'll be it's doing not our true. TikToks. It's not, it's not true. Guys, that's all we got for y'all. Um, we're gonna let uh, Tavon any last words, comments, thoughts, and or concerns. I appreciate y'all for having me, man. Woo 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 woo. I'm a part of history. <laughs> <laughs> On the Google Punch show, man. Facts this is where. Yo, that begins. camera's definitely crooked, bro. Where is the camera? What's one looking at me? Nah, no, it's not. Um, we're gonna let Ron take y'all out, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I'm a little tired today, man. I got back to the crib late, man. You know, we had a little Sunday night football, and. Uh, I took a nap before I got on the show, honestly, on the floor. So I was really tired. But Those are some of the best naps. No, my With head. one pillow. You need one pillow. I ain't even have a pillow. <sighs> so, still, still a good nap. I nap only supposed to be like 20 minutes. No, yeah. my jump was about 20 minutes, though. Real we'll talk. Good but I'm still in. tired because I went to sleep about 4.30. That just means you left it all on the field, and we're thankful for that. You know? Real talk. Pro Bowl vote. Pro Bowl vote both my boys. Pro Bowl vote the whole team. Real talk. We're thankful for you guys. Tuning in. Thankful for you, Tavon. Hey, healthy Ronnie. 
You know, I'll be back with my boys. When you get on the cast, brother. 2016, boys. Uh, Probably in a week or so. Spring break 08. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever that means. See you guys. Thank you. Love you. Tell someone you love them.